Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, I am going to show you how can you create your own image classifier, probably the easiest way that I am aware of, using a simple Google Colab notebook and then also use that image classifier that you have built, the model that you have built, to upload it on Hugging Face Model Hub and then finally use it on a different Google Colab notebook for inference. And for this purpose, we are going to use a project called Hugging Pix. Hugging Pix is a repos uh, repository, also Google Collab Notebook, that has been kindly put together by Nathan Raw. Thanks, Nate, for putting together this amazing library, or I should say, Google Collab Notebook that makes this job completely easy. So, what is Hugging Pix? Hugging Pix is nothing but a Google Collab Notebook where all you have to do is go there enter the terms for which you want to build an image classifier then it would download the necessary images and then ultimately you would be able to push these images sorry push this image classifier model to hugging face model hub and then you can you know anybody in the world can actually download take the model that you have built and then start using it and you yourself can also use it with hugging face hosted inference api so there are a couple of models that you can already see uh, what we what, what you can do with this. This basically leverages Google Wit Vision Transformer. So Google Vision Transformer base model is taken and then this is fine tuned on the images that are downloaded based on the keywords that you've given. So at the end of this project, you'll be able to build an Indian foods classification model. Um, image classification model to be specific and that image classification model you can use to classify images or the food pics into five different categories uh, if you are familiar with Indian food you probably might know all these things vada pav, pani puri, kachori, idli and samosa so there is a good mix of North Indian food and South Indian food as we always say unity and diversity so what you can do is you can take any image just like this and add it to the hosted inference um, API and then the API would tell you what it feels based on this model what it feels the most probable image classification in this case it's an idli and it is correctly identified it as idli uh, so we are going to deal with two google collab notebooks at the start of this video we are going to train the model uploaded to hugging face and then the end of this video we are going to use the same model that we have uploaded and then do inference so let's get started and again if you really like this project please go ahead and then start this repository it should mean a lot and also please give a shout out to nathan Ron on uh, twitter or linkedin wherever you use this this is an amazing project thanks nathan once again so the google collab notebook that we are going to use directly just from nathan's repository so open this google collab and then it would open something like this in my case it's um, disconnected so i'm going to first connect it after you connect it, just make sure that you have uh, the GPU environment. So let's get connected. Then I'm going to go to the runtime and then say change runtime and see, oh, it's fine. It's GPU already, so I'm good. Let me zoom it out a little bit so that all of us can see it clearly. So the first step is you need to install the repository, uh, sorry, install the required libraries. So we need transformers, PyTorch Lightning for the fine tuning, and then Git LFS is for uploading the model. So let's install it it's it's like we have requested it to install quietly so it doesn't show a lot of you know verbose once we do that uh, let the installation happen after we do that the next step is we are going to import uh, all the required libraries i'm not going to go through step by step like line by line of the code that has been given here so you can definitely check it out for yourself I'll just give you an overview. So now the libraries are installed. So let's import required um, packages or libraries, whatever you would like to call it. So import it. So then now the next step is this is where we have to define the search term that we want. In my case, I've given Pani Puri, Samosa, Vada Pav, Kachori and Italy. So I've given five terms. So if you want, you can further increase it. But if you want to change it, you can still change it. Maybe what I'll do is instead of um, Instead of giving Indian foods, which 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 I have already done, maybe we can start with something different. Uh, so I should call it something else. Uh, what we can do? What can we do? Um, actually, I think we can do ice cream, maybe, or probably like South Indian food. I'll I'll go with dosa and uh, puttu. 
and uh, then uh, idiapam diapam let me check idiapam on google images just um, making sure that uh, the actual uh, item i'm spelling it correctly yeah idiapam and then i want to give those what i and then i want to put to those what i and then finally let's let's keep idli as well so this is now purely south indian so uh, the model that i've already built in is uh, for entire like whole indian food so after we do that just execute that now at this point you have assigned term 1 term 2 term 3 term 4 term 5 and then the next step is uh, you have to download the images so when you download the images uh, it basically hits this image url and then it tries to download the images just execute it it's going to create a directory uh, and then it would start downloading the images when you run this thing you can see it is trying to download dosai or um, some people call it dosa so dosai into one folder uh, so basically it would try to download the maximum of 150 images which is good enough like uh, in, in, in the model that, that I have already built I think it does a good job so dosai is getting downloaded uh, next one by one I think the next one would be put to uh, so one by one it's going to get downloaded so let's see how much progress it makes meanwhile you can also open another google collab notebook and then uh, you can install transformers on it so maybe uh, we can wait while this is happening i mean definitely you can keep this video on 2x speed to see this thing you don't have to wait like i'm waiting but i just wanted to show you the real time speed of how long it takes for you to do it so most likely this video shouldn't take more than 20 minutes and at the end of the 20 minutes you should have a really good image classifier at um, you know your disposal for you to start using it so uh, for, for the final image what i you can you can also see this thing you can go to the folders see the images and then see like what all the folders you have got and if you click what i you can actually see like how many images i've already got i think probably we are we are around like 60 images so most likely another 100 images should not take a lot of time okay it it actually stopped but i think we are good uh, so we have about like what 50 images i think that's good so there was an error uh, that's okay so the next thing is let's uh, let's run the next step which is to split the data set into training and validation and then finally we have to see some of the images to make sure that uh, whatever we mean is what we have got so like we, we don't want like for example in this case if you see this is this is definitely not idli this is a cooker but they've uh, shown it as idli so yeah so we just want to make sure like if a lot of images are like this probably then we might have to you know go back and change this but i think in this case it's quite fine like we don't want to um, optimize it we are just doing it for educational purpose so it should be fine now that we know all these things are fine now it's time for us to add some labels so that uh, you know like we get the right labels when we do inference and uh, finally we are going to uh, download the base models the actual model which we are going to fine tune which is also we are downloading from um, hugging fist model hub and so once that is done we are going to use pytorch lightning for fine tuning our model run it and run it and you can see that uh, it started uh, fine tuning so it says uh, like gpu is available you can see that at this point it is completely uh, been uh, trained like now we have a model so it's just to validate you know like um, whether the model is done a decent job uh, right now if we see like the values matching so you can see like it is uh, there is probably like one uh, misclassification but yeah it has done a decent job so after this point uh, now that our model is ready and uh, all we have to do is we have to give the right name so that it can get uploaded to uh, hugging face model hub so i'm going to call it south indian foods and this is my username so the moment i run it it's going to ask me to enter the password so after i enter the password it's going to upload the model so it's going to take some time after it uploads the model you are going to get the url in which model is available like uploaded you can yourself you know figure out like uh, this username slash south indian foods is where you're going to get your model but yeah uh, the model is now uploaded click the link you can see uh, that the model is ready and uh, how the model can be uploaded uh, so how the model is available so if you want to test this model so all you have to do is like let's say like we need to test with idli 
I have a neatly picture. Uh, I'm going to copy it from here and paste it so you can see that the model is loading and then it is checking. And you can see that it is uh, predicted with 83% um, probability that it is idly. So we have done a decent job. Um, before we, I mean, like we can probably even check with one more thing. Maybe I'll uh, I'll take idea from I'll save it. Save data CD up and go back to my model hub, click it and then click ID up. It has said ID up. So yeah, so far this model has done a good job. So now at this step, we have got a custom built image classifier using hugging pics ready with us. And then the model has been successfully uploaded to hugging face model hub. So what do we do next? Like what do we do with this model? So if you want to use this model now, you need to use it somewhere for inference, right? So uh, like that's the whole point Like you have created this and then you want to use it somewhere. So now we are going to move into the final section of this video where I'm going to show you how you can use this model and then start predicting, uh, looking at, you know, um, uh, image pictures and then say whether it is CD up or midly, those are put to or whatever. Okay. So now I've got the second notebook. I link both the notebooks in YouTube description. Please make sure to check it out. And also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe the channel and then share this with your friends. The first step in the new Google Collab Notebook is that you have to install the latest Hugging Face Transformers, which I have already done. After you do that, we have to import WIT Feature Extractor, WIT for image classification, and then pill pillow uh, to show the image and request us to download the image. So load it. And then the next step is whatever image we want. For example, let's say in this case, we want to predict Puttu, run it. So the image is downloaded. Now we can display the image. We have got Puttu. So now is the crucial step where we have to download the image, the model that we have created. So if you go to the model that we have created and click use Hugging Face Transformers, you can get this model name or you can simply copy from here, then come back here then paste that here so paste oh, sorry paste it here and paste it here and then run it so we are extracting the model and feature extractor so once this is done we are going to extract the features from our images of course and then we are going to do inference and then finally show what class it is so it has correctly identified it as put. So if you want to try for something else, which is, um, let's say, what, what all categories we have got, I totally forgot. We have got uh, put to idli, dosa, put to vada. Okay. So let me get dosa. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get dosa and uh, I'm going to show this dosa. And I'm going to open the image in the new tab. Copy this, go to my Google Collab Notebook. I can copy this, just URL is equal to download it, display the image. And now the next step is do feature extraction, inference, and then predict. And it has said the predicted classes, those. So ultimately, we have built. I should call it South Indian Foods Image Classifier using Hugging Pics. And then the, mod the, the model has been uploaded successfully to the Hugging Face model hubs, which means like anybody on the planet can actually use it. Like, uh, you, you, like your contribution has been made to the open source community. And now also you have got a Google Collab notebook, which helps you to do model inference, which means if you want to turn it to an API, if you want to turn it into an app, you can easily use this Google, the code in the Google Collab Notebook to turn it out. All you have to do is download and save the model and then start doing inference. So I hope this video was helpful to you in understanding what is Hugging Pics, how to use Hugging Pics to train your custom image classifier, just, just quite simply by just literally typing five uh, or whatever number of classes that you want and then uploading the same model to Hugging Face Model Hub and then using that model that we just created or fine tuned, I should say, to do new set of inferences. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, like I said, 
please give a huge shout out to Nate uh, for this amazing uh, repository and collab code and also like this video and share share it with your friends i really appreciate that thank you so much for listening to me stay safe